Pistachial lentiscus, Wikipedia article audio. Pistachial lentiscus is a dioecious evergreen shrub or small tree of the pistachio genus growing up to 4 m tall which is cultivated for its aromatic resin, mainly on the Greek island of Chios. Description Pistachial lentiscus is a shrub or dioecious tree, with separate male and female plants, evergreen from 1 to 5 m high, with a strong smell of resin growing in dry and rocky areas in Mediterranean Europe. It resists heavy frosts and grows on all types of soils, and can grow well in limestone areas and even in salty or saline environments, making it more abundant near the sea. It is also found in woodlands, dehesas, Kermes oak wood, oaks wood, gariga, maki, hills, gorges, canyons, and rocky hillsides of the entire Mediterranean area. It is a very typical species that grows in Mediterranean mixed communities of myrtle, Kermes oak, Mediterranean dwarf palm, buckthorn, sarsaparilla, etc., and serves as protection and food for birds and other fauna in this ecosystem. It is a very hardy pioneer species dispersed by birds. When older, it develops some large trunks and numerous thicker and longer branches. In appropriate areas, when allowed to grow freely and age, it often becomes a tree of up to 7 m. However, logging, grazing, and fires often prevent its development. The leaves are alternate, leathery, and compound peripinnate with five or six pairs of deep green leaflets. It presents very small flowers, the male with five stamens, the female trifid style. The fruit is a droop, first red and then black when ripe, about 4 mm in diameter. Distribution In tourist areas, with palmitos, or Mediterranean dwarf palm, and exotic plants, it is often chosen to repopulate gardens and resorts because of its strength and attractive appearance. Unlike other species of pistachia, it retains its leaves throughout the year. It has been introduced as an ornamental shrub in Mexico, where it has naturalized and is often seen primarily in suburban and semi-arid areas where the summer rainfall climate, contrary to the Mediterranean, does not hurt it. Resin a related species, P. saporti, has been shown by DNA analysis to be a hybrid between maternal P. lentiscus and paternal P. terebinthus. The hybrid has imparipinate leaves, with leaflets semi-persistent, subsessile terminal, and sometimes reduced. Usually, P. terebinthus and P. lentiscus occupy different biotopes and barely overlap. Mastic appears at lower elevations and near the sea, while the P. terebinthus most frequently inhabits inland and mountainous areas such as the Iberian system. Cultivation History Pistachial lentiscus is native throughout the Mediterranean region, from Morocco and Iberian Peninsula in the west through southern France and Turkey to Iraq and Iran in the east. It is also native to the Canary Islands. The word mastic derives from the Latin word masticare, in Greek, mu alpha sigma tau iota chi omega verb masticine or masian. Uses Within the European Union, mastic production in Chios is granted protected designation of origin and protected geographical indication names. Although the tree is native to all of the Mediterranean region, only on southern Chios is the mastic tree's bark scored to weep the mastica resin. The island's mastic production is controlled by a cooperative of medieval villages, collectively known as the Mastico Coria, which are also located in the southern part of Chios. Culinary Art The aromatic, ivory-colored resin, also known as mastic, 
is harvested as a spice from the cultivated mastic trees grown in the south of the Greek island of Chios in the Aegean Sea, where it is also known by the name Chios Tears. Originally liquid, it is hardened, when the weather turns cold, into drops or patties of hard, brittle, translucent resin. When chewed, the resin softens and becomes a bright white and opaque gum. The resin is collected by bleeding the trees from small cuts made in the bark of the main branches, and allowing the sap to drip onto the specially prepared ground below. The harvesting is done during the summer between June and September. After the mastic is collected, it is washed manually and is set aside to dry, away from the sun, as it will start melting again. Medicine Miscellanea Mastic resin is a relatively expensive kind of spice. It has been used principally as a chewing gum for at least 2,400 years. The flavor can be described as a strong, slightly smoky, resiny aroma and can be an acquired taste. Some scholars identify the Baca mentioned in the Bible as in the Valley of Baca of Psalm 84 with the mastic plant. The word Baca appears to be derived from the Hebrew word for crying or weeping and is thought to refer to the tears of resin secreted by the mastic plant, along with a sad weeping noise which occurs when the plant is walked on and branches are broken. The Valley of Baca is thought to be a valley near Jerusalem that was covered with low mastic shrubbery, much like some hillsides in northern Israel today. In an additional biblical reference, King David receives divine counsel to place himself opposite the Philistines coming up the valley of Rephaim, southwest of Jerusalem, such that the sound of walking on the tops of the Baca shrubs signals the moment to attack. Mastic is known to have been popular in Roman times when children chewed it, and in medieval times, it was highly prized for the Sultan's harem both as a breath freshener and for cosmetics. It was the Sultan's privilege to chew mastic, and it was considered to have healing properties. The spice's use was widened when Chios became part of the Ottoman Empire, and it remains popular in North Africa and the Near East. The Masticocoria are located in the southern part of Chios. Mastic gum is principally used either as a flavoring or for its gum properties as in mastic chewing gum. As a spice, it continues to be used in Greece to flavor spirits and liqueurs, chewing gum, and a number of cakes, pastries, spoon sweets, and desserts. Sometimes it is even used in making cheese. Mastic resin is a key ingredient in Donderma and Turkish puddings, giving those confections their unusual texture and bright whiteness. In Lebanon and Egypt, the spice is used to flavor many dishes, ranging from soups to meats to desserts, while in Morocco, smoke from the resin is used to flavor water. In Turkey, mastic is used as a flavor of Turkish delight. Recently, a mastic-flavored fizzy drink has also been launched, called mast. Mastic resin is a key ingredient in Greek festival breads, for example, the sweet bread psauraki and the traditional New Year's vasilopita. Furthermore, mastic is also essential to myron, the holy oil used for chrismation by the Orthodox churches. As well as its culinary uses, mastic continues to be used for its gum and medicinal properties. The resin is used as a primary ingredient in the production of cosmetics such as toothpaste, lotions for the hair and skin, and perfumes. People in the Mediterranean region have used mastic as a medicine for gastrointestinal ailments for several thousand years. The first-century Greek physician and botanist, Dioscorides, wrote about the medicinal properties of mastic in his classic treatise De Materia Medica. Some centuries later, 
Markelos M. Pyricos and Pavlos Egonitis also noticed the effect of mastic on the digestive system. Regular consumption of mastic has been proven to absorb cholesterol, thus easing high blood pressure and reducing the risk of heart attacks. Mastic oil also has antibacterial and antifungal properties, and as such is widely used in the preparation of ointments for skin disorders and afflictions. It is also used in the manufacture of plasters. In recent years, university researchers have provided the scientific evidence for the medicinal properties of mastic. A 1985 study by the University of Thessaloniki and by the Mykai University discovered that mastic can reduce bacterial plaque in the mouth by 41.5%. A 1998 study by the University of Athens found that mastic oil has antibacterial and antifungal properties. Another 1998 University of Nottingham study claims that mastic can heal peptic ulcers by killing Helicobacter pylori, which causes peptic ulcers, gastritis, and duodenitis. Some in vivo studies have shown that mastic gum has no effect on H. pylori when taken for short periods of time. However, a recent and more extensive study showed that mastic gum reduced H. pylori populations after an insoluble and sticky polymer constituent of mastic gum was removed and taken for a longer period of time. Further analysis showed the acid fraction was the most active antibacterial extract, and the most active pure compound was isomasticotienolic acid. A bomb was created from the mastic tree resin for use by physicians in biblical times. American slaves took the reference in Jeremiah 8.22 to the bomb of Gilead to refer to Jesus Christ in the spiritual hymn, There is a bomb in Gilead. Apart from its medicinal properties and cosmetic and culinary uses, mastic gum is also used in the production of high-grade varnish. The mastic tree has been introduced into Mexico as an ornamental plant, where it is very prized and fully naturalized. The trees are grown mainly in suburban areas in semi-arid zones, and remain undamaged, although the regime of summer rainfall is contrary to its original Mediterranean climate. Duft Zykin The fourth scene from Sontag A.U.S. licked by Karl Heinz Stockhausen is centered around seven cents, each one associated with one day of the week. Mastix is assigned to Wednesday and comes third.